Hi, in this video tutorial I will explain how I retargeted mocap data to my character. As you can see, I just I'll just turn off this layer. As you can see, this base layer has just uh, raw mocap data. It's just retargeted from uh, raw mocap data. And then after that, I created a layer on top of this base animation layer. And then I changed some key pose to make it look better. Before we, before I explain that part, I will just show you how I imported the mocap data to my custom rig. I used this rig for animation, but this one is I purchased on Kelfigan's website. But if you use your own character, you can do that. Uh, you can set up uh, quite easily. So I will show you what you need to do to capture the mocap data to your rig. Let's, I will demonstrate with this rig. This one was free. You can find this rig on high-end 3D website. I will leave that link on this video's description. So 19, we have to make this as a typo. Typo this space pose for uh, human IK retargeting. So let's make this as typos. I changed this as a FK setting. You can set up with IK, but FK is easy to set up for human IK and then go to here uh, let's see where is human IK it's here so you can see this tab the first thing you need to do is uh, we have to def define the skeletons so create character definition that's what we have to do and then turn on this uh, layer, display layer, so you can see the bones on this character. So let's quick define this bones, like selecting double click this part and then choose the correct bones. This one will go here and then spine. Usually, spine. Uh, if it's human character, there is more spine, uh, more than one spine. But this one has just one. But if you have more spine, you can assign them in here. So we'll just this two and let's go here. And then hands and forearm, off arm the shoulder or choose this one and then neck neck bone and finally head head one here so we almost done and we're almost done we can do finger setting but uh, the mocap data that I was using they don't have any finger animation on the mocap data so I um, I don't really need to set up all this finger anyway after this we have to set up for a custom rig you can click that uh, this button so you can see this custom rig controller and let's this time let's choose controller this one Assign selected effector unlock all this one assign selected unlock all it's quite same process with uh, uh, defining skeleton assigning selected effect and then hip assigning selected effect and spine Signing select, and I will just use same same controller for this spine. I'll go then sign selected. This is a bit boring part, but this doesn't take long, so. 
you almost there. Almost there. Then shoulder. Then the other part. controller and lastly we had so, okay yeah we pretty much all done now we all done now let's grab the mocap data from here go to animation editor and motion library if you use uh, Maya version under 2020.1 you may not see this uh, mocap library but if in on the internet there's many different uh, mocap library you can grab for free so yeah, you can try with that or you can if you use higher than higher version uh, of uh, Maya you can just grab from here some are you have to pay but quite many there's quite many free mocap data like what I used combo I use this mocap data what you can do you can just download this to your scene just click once it's already now it's already in my scene as you can see this skeleton this is mocap data when you grab this mockup data, they automatically change the frame rate, uh, the 100 frame, uh, 120 frame, but it's too high to edit mockup data. So you can use this one, but if you want to edit later, it's better reduce frame rate around 30 frame is fine. So and then let's retarget this. So we have this, we created this character uh, HI character named with a character one and then this one is already have HI setting the name the default name is character so if you choose uh, the character uh, what you're going to retarget is um, your character you choose on this slot you choose your uh, custom character and then so you can choose the mocap data Rick, so this one is character as you can see here it's working quite well then if you want to see it probably you can turn off this option this will be our base animation for mocap editing and in the next video, I will show you how I edited the mocap data to make this uh, animation. So it looks quite different uh, from mocap data. Mm, I used the animation layer to change the pose and spend quite some time to make it look better. To make it look better. So yeah, I'll go through all that workflow in next video. Okay, don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the likes button. Thank you. Bye.